In stories, Chekhov's gun is a promise that something you draw the reader's attention to will come to have greater importance or significance later on in your story. The term is attributed to a writer from the 19th century, Anton Chekhov, specifically this quote. If in the first act you have hung a pistol on the wall, then in the following one it should be fired. Otherwise, don't put it there. But Chekhov's gun doesn't just apply to objects. It could also be a character, an action, or a setting. And it's all in how you, as the author, describe it. If your protagonist gets into a taxi and you offer a brief description of the driver, that's fine, and the reader will clock him as a not very important side character. But the more attention you give to him, if you point out repeatedly that he's unusually quiet, or that he keeps fiddling with the radio dial like he's looking for something, or that he has his hat pulled so low that the protagonist can't see his eyes, the more you raise your reader's expectations, that something about him is going to come to be quite important. If not in this scene, then later. Now, you might want to purposefully draw your reader's attention to an object or a character or a setting or an action, not because it's actually that important, but because you're misleading them, pulling their attention away from something else. In that case, the thing you're drawing attention to would actually be a red herring. And a MacGuffin is actually kind of the inverse of Chekhov's gun, in that it's something that is very important to the characters and the plot, but it's not so important to the readers. If your reader believes that something in your story that you mentioned is going to come to be very important, and then it's not at all, they're going to feel let down. You want to fulfill that promise, and that's what Chekhov's Gun is all about. For example, in The Wide Window, one of the books in A Series of Unfortunate Events, the narrator Lemony Snicket points out multiple times that the Baudelaire orphans have a peppermint allergy. Mentioning such an innocuous detail about them so many times definitely builds up our expectations that this is going to come to be important. And it does when the orphans intentionally eat peppermints in order to trick a villain into thinking that they're really ill. What are some of your favorite examples of Chekhov's gun in stories? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. That's it for this Fiction Fix It. I will see you guys next time. And until then, keep writing.